In our project history, we have worked with performance artists before. The first one, Gilbert and George, in 1973, was really groundbreaking. And in fact, the curators for 13 rooms refer back to Gilbert and George as their inspiration. There is this sort of cultural amnesia around the history of performance art. And I think it's kind of complex why that is. Uh, the history wasn't very well documented at the time. There wasn't kind of magazines or things documenting what was going on. And also because it is an ephemeral medium, it sort of, it happens and then it disappears and it's, it's harder to document than other, uh, other mediums. And then basically, in the last sort of 10 to 12 years, there's been this kind of resurgence of performance that has been incredibly well documented overseas, uh, in which institutions are now kind of, you know, opening their doors to performance, and there seems to be a lot of young artists making performative works. The big difference between then and now is that the artists were performing themselves. Now, they instruct. Marina Abramovich actually talks about performance as a, as a musical score. So I think that's an interesting way of thinking about it. So it will never be the same, but it's a clear set of parameters and kind of instructions about how that performance takes place. So of course it physically can be done, but uh, I think it needs to be, there has to be a consideration of what the meaning might be now and how it might be different. What is so wonderful about 13 Rooms that each artist is very, very different. They all address different segments, different emotions, a different way of looking at art. And that I think is, is wonderful, that within one exhibition you see so many different variations that the public and local artists can learn so much. The artists that are in that show are all, you know, like kings and queens of contemporary art and of performance practice. So I think, you know, to have those performances presented here, even if they're not presenting them, I think it's almost like this suite of the history of performance, you know, that dates back to, I think 1970 is the oldest work. You know, it's kind of like this really fast history of, uh, of performance in a way. And I think, yeah, I think to be exposed to something like that in Australia, um, I think will open people up to what performance is. And I think, you know, because there is so much discussion around performance and re-performance and the role of performance in contemporary art, I think it will really bring that to the fore in Australia. And, you know, hopefully it will mean that people will be more interested in documenting the history that is here, that is very exciting what's going on in Australia.